number 10. Uh, it's a very simple question. Uh, we are told uh, two taps A and B can fill an empty tank in three hours and two hours respectively. A drainage tap R can empty the full tank in uh, six hours. Tap A and R are open for five hours, then closed. Uh, part A, determine the fraction of the tank that is still empty. Uh, B, find how long it would take to fill the remaining fraction of the tank if all the taps are opened. Now, the first thing here we need to do is to understand the, this information. Uh, and once you understand this information, anytime you get such a question, it will be very easy for you. Now, we are told tap A, fill the tank in three hours, tap B, fill the tank in two hours. What that means is that if we draw a sample tank here, like that, and we divide into three per equal parts, like that, it means tap A, this is one hour. We'll, that is, it will fill the tank, a third of that, another hour, and this is the third hour. Okay? So it means in one hour, it will fill a third of that tank. Tap B, fill the tank in two hours. Meaning, if we draw the tank, a sample tank, just like this one, we divide it into a two equal parts, then it means this tap, this is uh, tap A, and this is tap B. In one hour, it will fill a half of that tank. And in one hour, it will fill another, the other half. What does that mean? It means that if the, these two, two taps are open at the same time, then we have, this will fill a third of the tank, uh, which is a third, and this will fill a half of the tank. So you should have, you should have add a half. That is, this is a fraction of the tank. Uh, so this part here, if I may use another, so it means this part here, and this part here is the amount of water that will be in the tank. So it means our tank will have, uh, this is the that, uh, like that, this is water, and then a half, uh, a half of what is, so this is what will be filled by A, and this is what will be filled by B. I think that, once you understand that, uh, then this question will be very easy for you. Let's look at R. We are told that uh, tap R can uh, empty the tank in six hours. This means that if we draw a sample tank and we divide the same tank we divided into six equal parts. Uh, this is one, two, three, four, five, and we add another one. So it means this is R in one hour. This uh, can use a different color. In one hour, this will be removed from the tank. So it means that uh, if we open all the tabs, then uh, this is one over six, which you can say it is minus because it is removing the water. Uh, so if all the tanks, taps are opened, then it means the water that will be in the tank in one hour will be a third plus a, a half minus one over six. And once you understand that information, then this will be very easy question for you. For example, determine the fraction of the tank that was still empty. If when A and R are open for five hours, we need to find what part of the tank was empty. And uh, so now let's go to the actual working of the question and see how you are supposed to do that. So now we look at part A. Like I have explained, when A and R are open for five hours, I have said when you open A, uh, what it means, because it is filling the tank in three hours, in one hour, it will fill a third, a third of the tank. And uh, then when you open, when you have R open, this is A, and R is open, it will empty a sixth of the, of the, of the water in the tank. What this means is that the water that will be, it will be, when you combine these two, uh, then you have the tank. Uh, this is a third, and you subtract a six of what is uh, what has been removed by R, 
So this is what the tank uh, that what that is remaining in the tank. So we are required to find out the empty part here. Uh, now what we need to do is to find out the amount of water that was retained in the tank uh, when the two tabs are open. So uh, this is how we do that. So we start with A. So A is filling a third of the tank minus 1 over 6, what is being removed by R. Uh, and it is the, the, the tabs are open for 5 hours, so you multiply by 5 hours. And this uh, will be able to get, okay, you can get the LCM here. It is 6. 6 divided by 3 is 2. Uh, minus 6 divided by 6 is 1. 1 times 1 is 1. And this you multiply by 5. And this will give you, uh, this is 1 over 6. And this will give you, uh, this will give you 5 over 6. When you multiply by, by 5, you get 5 over 6. Uh, so we take 1 is when the tank is full. You subtract the water that was in the, in the tank to get the empty part. And this will give you 1 over 6. So a sixth of the tank was a part that was empty. And once you do that, then you should be able to get uh, 2 marks. So you get a bonus mark for the answer. And you also get a bonus mark for this. All right. So once you do that, let's, uh, you go to B. Part B uh, of the question, find how long it, it would take to fill the remaining fraction of the tank if all the taps are opened. If all the taps are opened, then what is the amount that you get into the tank? So A is filling a third. Uh, you add two. B is filling a half. And C and R is emptying one over six. So we, we, we minus that. We can do that. Uh, we can compute that uh, by getting the LCM is six. Uh, so you divide by three. This will give you two plus uh, 6 divided by 2 is 3 multiplied by 1 you get 3 minus 1 and this is going to give you uh, this is uh, 5 minus 5 minus uh, that will give you 5 minus 1 is 4 over 6 uh, which is equals to uh, this is 2 over 3 so 2 thirds of the tank will be full uh, we'll, that is the amount that to enter to the tank and now since the remaining part we have seen it is 1 over 6 so you divide 1 over 6 you divide by the amount to be filled which is 2 over 3 and this you will be able to get 1 over 6 you multiply by 3 over 2 and that will give you this is uh, this is 2 uh, this is equals to 1 over 4 uh, an hour over an hour and 1 over 4 over an hour is the same as if you multiply by that is a quarter of 60 minutes uh, 60 minutes this will give you 15 minutes uh, so this means that it will take 15 minutes to fill the remaining part of the tank which is 1 over 6 and uh, by doing that then you will be able to get one mark for the method uh, here you get uh, can get uh, one mark method mark and you get one mark for the answer totaling to four marks so i i hope you have followed how we have done that and any type of a question that has this uh, kind of information that is how you do it hope you uh, have uh, followed that join my on free online classes and we'll be able to cover much more